द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच यू मे बी आस्क इज वट इज कंडीशनल फॉर्मेटिंग सो इन पावर बी आई कंडीशनल फॉर्मेटिंग अलाउज यू टू हाईलाइट अ स्पेसिफिक डेटा इन द विजुअल बेस्ड ऑन अ सेट ऑफ क्राइटेरिया यू स्पेसिफाई इट कैन बी यूज इन ऑर्डर टू मेक डेटा ईजियर टू अंडरस्टैंड एज वेल एज आइडेंटिफाई द ट्रेंड्स और आउटलियर्स विद इन द डेटा सेट नाउ यू हैव डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ कंडीशनल फॉर्मेटिंग ऑप्शन यू कैन हैव कलर विच इज फॉन्ट एंड बैकग्राउंड Uh, this type of conditional formatting changes the color of the cell based on their value so basically of the font or the background and you can color or highlight the cells that are above or below certain values or to highlight the cell that fall within specific range so various conditions you can have based on a major or based on rules or based on gradient now i can with this conditional formatting techniques you can display the icon beside the cells depending on their values i can can be utilized to show if the cell is above below certain values or falls within particular range then data bars this type of conditional formatting a bar is displayed next to the cell according to their values the length of the bar corresponding to the value in the cell and then there is something known as web url this conditional formatting displays a hyperlink on the text of the cell when you click on the link it will open up a web page in your browser so let me quickly take you through on a table visual these uh conditional formatting and the location of these conditional formatting may change depending on the visual but so if you have a visual you click on that and you go to this format visual okay format visual here now if you are using on object interaction you may reach here by clicking on the three dots now scroll down you will get cell elements in case of table visual or matrix visual it could be bar it could be column uh, depending on the visual now here if you have a major like net a numerical value you will see background font data bar icon and web url so if you enable this it shows some color background color and it is automatically doing the gradient conditional formatting right now now if i click on the font again it will color the font if i click on the fx i get all the options like gradient rule and field value etc now if you want data bars then it displays the data bars and the size of the bar represent you know how big the value is now icon conditional formatting if i simply enable it gives me the icons i can click on the fx to go to the rules or to the field value to define a better uh, conditions and create different kind of icons we have different kind of styles which are available to be used now web url something if let's say and let me go to category let's say you need to have a url to enable this and if you click on it will ask for a field value basically it needs a major or column with an aggregation so i have a url with me and if i select that url and summarization is first because it's a column if it's a major then i don't need a summarization it, it gives a link and i can click on that link and that, and that will open that link into the browser so these are the different kind of conditional formatting options you have in power bi you can explain them with examples in your interview